it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for Paper Maze. And this month I'm working with Simple Vintage Life in Bloom collection from Simple Stories. And I think it's one of my favourite ever collections. It's so beautiful, the colours in it are stunning. And then with the black and white elements as well, just everything pops and looks so striking. So I'm really loving it. And I couldn't decide which pattern papers I wanted to use because I loved them all. So um, quite often when this happens, I go for circles or hexagons so that I can get several different papers on the layout without overcrowding it and making it look too busy. So I've cut several circles there, some slightly smaller than others, making sure that my photo was bigger than everything else. And I'd actually printed my photo in both black and white and colour and had them back to back so I could decide once I had my composition in place. And I decided to go with the black and white in the end because I just felt like with the green um, in my background of the coloured version, the photo didn't pop as much and it kind of got lost in amongst all the colours on the page. And because the collection's got lots of black and white elements to it, I felt like the black and white photo worked better. So I've gone with that, I've mounted it on a layer of white cardstock and now I'm adding a layer of basil cardstock behind it from the matchmaker pack that you'll find on the website and that colour matches the turquoises in the collection beautifully and I'm distressing the edges of that. I've also off camera when I cut my circles distressed all those edges as well so that brings in um, a nice bit of texture to the page and just makes it a bit more interesting. I like to raise my photo up on foam just to keep it the sort of focal point and make, help make it stand out amongst everything else. And as you can see, this layout just fell together on the page. I didn't have to do much at all. I cut my patterned paper circles and um, arranged those on my page and I had lots of florals on standby ready to use and they kind of just all slotted in perfectly. So a lot of these florals are from the floral um, bits and pieces pack, which is gorgeous. You get loads in that. And then some of them are also from the 6x8 sticker book. So with those, they are quite a thin paper. So you have to be really careful peeling them out of the book. But I like to stick them down onto white cardstock and then cut out around them just to make them a bit sturdier. Um, and so that I can then put some foam behind them and pop them up and create some dimension. So I've done that off camera with some of the florals. And I'm just going to tuck those around my circles, trying to kind of mix the colours up a bit and spread them around the page. And then for my title, I'm using one of the foam stickers and it says happy day. And it was kind of this sticker that made me decide to go for circles on the page just because I felt like um, just at the end of happy and above the word day, there was that natural space for a circular photo to sit. And I suppose hexagon would have fit as well, but I just for some reason was feeling that a circle would fit really nicely there. Um, so kind of you could say that the whole layout was really inspired or was born from the idea of using this sticker as my title and because I've raised my photo up on foam I've had to raise part of the title up as well just so that it all sits sort of flat on my background um, and everything has some contact to stick and then I've cut that massive cluster in half there so that I can use half there and I've got that other bit to the right there that I will try and slot in somewhere else and you'll never know once it's in that it had a straight edge the cluster I'm playing with now is one of the bits that has, that was from the sticker book, that one. So um, it doesn't have a white border on it like the floral bits and pieces do, but that's okay. I'm sticking it on white anyway, so that border wouldn't really have shown up much. Um, so I've got the mixture of some with the white border and some without. And then these butterflies I have cut from one of the pattern papers. I think that is one of my favourites in this collection, the butterfly paper. Um, I sat one evening in front of the telly and fussy cut the whole sheet. So I had lots of butterflies on standby in a little box ready to use. And I've raised the bodies up with foam and then just left the wings flapping free. So they look really realistic, like they've just landed on my layout. And I tend to do that quite often with butterflies. I never stick them down flat. I always like to have their wings kind of fluttering on my page. And this is the 6x12 chipboard sheet and as you can see the colours in this collection are just absolutely stunning. Um, it's no wonder it's been so popular. It's um, As soon as I saw the sneaks from Simple Stories I've had my eye on it. So I was so glad when it finally arrived at Paper Maze and I could get my hands on it. So I've added a few of the chipboard hearts just around the edge of my lay layout there. Um, I think I've got 
three I use or four in total and um, they've got like a little um, kind of vintage map look to them so they add a little bit more texture to the page and then I'm just going through the sticker book here just to see if there's anything else I can add any smaller bits I do love that floral die cut that I'm putting in now I think it's crocus or in my mind it's crocus anyway and in the photo my little boy is sat amongst a field of daffodils but among them were loads of crocuses or crocai I never know what the plural is for that um, but there was lots of them I had purple yellow and white so that um, floral die cut I just had to get on because I just thought it was perfect for the story behind my photo and I have done some journaling on the back of this layout um, just to talk about it all and talk about our day and what we saw and what we were doing because I've offset my design over to the right then as much as I love a lot of white space on the page I was feeling like the left hand side of the page just needed something so I wanted to add some color and some black and white over there so I've taken a strip of that floral um, patterned paper there it wasn't quite 12 inches long though so you'll see in a minute I do kind of get my DIY on um, and just add to that a little bit and that was really easy to do because I've got that gorgeous purple flower at the bottom I just cut another section of the page that had a purple flower um, it doesn't match up it's not the same flower but because it's the same color it's really not noticeable and then I've got a layer of that turquoisey um, basil cardstock behind that as well. And I've torn those edges for the texture. Uh, I just absolutely love a torn edge on the page. And then that sort of keeps in with the, um, the edge distressing I'd done on my circles. And I'm just cutting that down or tearing that down just a little bit so there's not quite so much showing. But I love that that brings a little bit of turquoise over to that side of the page because I've got the turquoise um, circle underneath my photo and I've also got that turquoise matting around my photo. So it's nice to have a little bit of that over on the left as well. And I did just add a um, chipboard sticker. I think it says beautiful. At the moment it's sat just under my photo but I think I do move that in a minute. And then this is the element sticker sheet. If you buy the um, collector's pack with all the pattern papers in, this is actually included in that as well, or it is available separately. Um, so it's absolutely gorgeous, got loads and loads of bits on it. And I've just picked off a couple of the word stickers there to add to my circles. And then I moved that chipboard piece off and I've added a little chipboard piece that says beautiful to the bottom of my torn strip. And then another little tiny butterfly as well, just to bring some purple over there. And that is me done. So I hope you've enjoyed this layout and it's given you some inspiration. It truly is a stunning collection and I knew it was going to be stunning because I'd seen it online and it looks stunning online but in real life, in person, it's even more beautiful than I'd imagined. So I'm so glad I got my hands on this one um, and it is available in the Paper Maze store at the moment so do get your hands on it and I do believe a lot of it has already been discontinued by Simple Stories so I think it's going to be a case of once it's gone, it's gone. So do head over and grab it whilst you can. Um, and before I do, certainly, because I probably will want more of it. But thank you for joining me. I will leave some links in the description box below to the collection. Um, so do check that out on the Paper Maze website. But thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.